All right, everybody, I'm Chris. Stop. All right. So we're going to head over to our Warrior Horses site. Uh, and uh, the Warrior Horses are pretty excited about some of the new Microsoft List stuff. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, in addition to being able to go to Microsoft List, right, and create new list templates and everything, you can now go right here on your communication or your modern team site. You go to New List, and bam! Look at that! you got that nice interface where you can still do the, the standard list or from Excel or copy one, but you also have all these nice templates down here. Now, we've gone over some of these before, but I wanted to take a look at uh, how the horses have chosen to extend these. All right, so if we do something like the issue tracker, I get a nice little preview here, and we're going to go ahead and use that template. Actually, uh, we've already done that, so I'm going to skip hitting use template, but we'll take a look at what the horses have already put together. Come on over here. We've got an issue tracker here. And now this is just the standard issue tracker with some information entered here. Now you'll notice it's got all sorts of formatting applied to it, right? So we've got several column formats here. We even have a uh, view format that's highlighting any blocked issues here with a nice pinkish red. Um, and that's really cool, right? If we want to change some of those, we certainly can. Or we can go to column settings and we could format this column. All right, and this one's using rules, so we can just manage those rules. And so you can see this is the one that's making anything over 30 days have this interesting border and icon. All right, if we want to change that, you know, we can come in here, we can go more styles, right? We can switch that icon to a thumbs down, right? You can start to do all sorts of cool stuff. Maybe you don't like that it's on the right, but on the left. Uh, and that's awesome, right? So I didn't have to do anything. I just hit that button to uh, add the issue tracker template. And I've got all this, and I've got all this really nice formatting. And as I add items, they just show up, and I can quickly customize those, right? So even if I want to change it from 30 days, I can hit edit rule. And I can say, you know, anything over uh, 10 days, I want that exciting format, right? So that I can see my 13-day-old one is showing there. Now for this, I want to go ahead and cancel. And so that's really cool. But what if we could take this a little further, right? What if we wanted to uh, visualize this in a couple different ways? So you can see they've already provided multiple views here. Uh, but what if we want to take this exact view and we want to look at it a little differently? Well, good news. I wasn't just asking that question for no reason. If we head over to our uh, SPDev list formatting repo in our view samples folder here, if we scroll down, we can actually look for the name of the template, in this case, issue tracker. And we've got this issue tracker planner card sample. I'll click on that. I'm going to click on this little JSON file. And I'm just going to take all of this stuff, scroll down to the very bottom. It's very lovely format. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to copy that sucker. And I'm going to come back here. All items, I'm going to format the current view, right? So right now, you can see it's got that additional row class here, um, which is doing this. Don't worry, we're not going to lose that. When we come here, we're going to paste ours. In fact, if you look at the top, we've got that additional row class here. Let me make that a little bigger so we can see it. Uh, we just did it to a one-liner, but it's the exact same thing. So if I hit preview, wow, that's great. So what did we really just do, right? So let's save it. What we did is now we've added a tiles view, all right? So if we click over to tiles, we can see this whole thing displayed, and now they imitate planner cards, all right? So it's nice to be able to look at the list and see all that, but sometimes it's really nice to be able to see it on a familiar kind of interface. Um, you've got some nice things here with the planner cards, right? You can come in here, and you've got the kind of little drop down here. So this is demonstrating uh, the idea of using that hover card to create kind of a contextual menu. All right, so we can hit the share, and we can do all the, you gotta hit the and stick around with it. Remember I mean, the idea is you can quickly edit these things. So I can just open them and see what's going on. Uh, see the hover cards for individuals, right? So if I want to find out more about uh, who it's assigned to, I can get all that. So it's a really nice way to just kind of see this issue tracker in a whole different way. Um, it allows us to take the real power of Microsoft Lists and some of these templates um, and extend them with our own formats. All right, and we can certainly do that with that one. Um, but of course, you can also do that with any of these columns, right? Uh, maybe you like this look. Maybe you want to switch it over to that face file. Uh, you can do that, right? Or maybe you want to take this date reported and, and add some coloring on that. Very easy to do. But the point is these uh, list templates take you from not just creating a list, they really jump you into some of the, the better scenarios with the formatting and everything else, and it's a great way to get going. And then you can take those PNP samples and go even further. Now, I've got another one here, uh, and I'm going to create it on a different site. So if we go over to the site, uh, just to show the new list. All right, in this case, I'm going to just pick the second template, employee onboarding. All right, that looks lovely. I'm going to use that template. And we're just going to call it employee onboarding. Sounds great. All right, and this is a cool list. 
Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out, though, um, is it won't be obvious when we look at ours. In fact, we'll go ahead and if we look over here and we come back over to our or the list templates. So I'm going to go over to our employee onboarding, right? We've got this nice employee onboarding list. One of the things you'll notice um, is there is no uh, view formatting applied here, right? So this is the employee onboarding with content, but you can see it's got, you know, some nice column formats on here. Like all three of these are custom column formats, and that's cool. One of the things I wanted to point out is if you go to format the current view, you'll actually switch to advanced mode. You'll see all this gobbledygook, right? So it looks like uh, Microsoft's still working on some of this. Uh, believe it or not, this is supposed to be alternating row classes. Um, it's just fully escaped, and they've got a little bit of a problem. Don't worry. It doesn't break anything, obviously. And I'm going to show you how we can restore that. So if we go back over here to our employee onboarding, we're going to go to format the current view, go to advanced mode, where I've already cleared that out on this one. And now let's go back to our samples repo. Let's just go back to the root. And we'll go into view samples. And again, we'll look for the name of the of the template, employee onboarding, we've got the steps format. So I'll click on that JSON, and I'm just gonna grab this as well. It's exciting format. Oh, don't forget your last squiggly, you'll be sad. All right, we'll copy that. We'll come back here, we're gonna paste that in, and let's uh, save that, just so we can see. Now, so you can see we've restored the alternating rows. That's just this simple uh, one-liner right here. Not simple, but just, it's just a one-liner. Right, and that puts that back to those alternating rows that were intended to be a part of this, but it also adds another tiles view. So if we close this, uh, we could switch it over to tiles view. So the idea of the employee onboarding, right, is it steps for a specific employee to do uh, when they first come on board. Right, so they just got hired and they're saying, hey, before you join, right, you need to pledge your undying allegiance. Right, I think the sample is uh, sign your employee contract. Right, and on the first day, you're going to do these items, and week one, and you're going to track kind of what you're doing. So it's just a way to uh, make things easier when a new employee comes on board, right? So you might spin up this list for them um, and fill it out and let them go with it. And this is okay, right? This is very, even with the cool formats, even with the alternate rows, it's still very Excel-like, right? So if I'm an employee, it's maybe a little bit confusing. So we've got this new tiles view here, which helps visualize this a little bit better um, in terms of steps, right? So let's make that a little easier to see. All right, so the idea with the steps is it's going to show you exactly the number of the step, right? So you know exactly where you are in the process. All right, it's color coded based on when you're supposed to complete it. And when you complete it, uh, all right, so if I click on this guy and I, let's click on a different one here. Let's we'll go to number five and I'm just going to mark that as complete, right? So you can see it does this nice overlay, makes that much more obvious that that step is complete. Let's turn that off. Um, and again, it just provides a completely different way to look at this, right? Again, you still got the, uh, the people cards and everything else, um, which is cool. So the whole idea here is take these list templates, which are awesome, um, and extend them even further uh, to meet whatever your needs you're doing. All right, so let's uh, recap here. Boom, there it is. It's great. You got all these design mode formats. You can really uh, kick it off, uh, kick up your list notch right at these templates. Uh, and then once you've customized these, you can actually use your own, uh, not as templates, but you can copy from existing if you want to get these formats copied over as well. Um, and then, of course, look for more samples. So we've got the two right now, uh, which are linked here. All right, so if you go to those view samples, you've got the two. Uh, expect to see more of those for these templates. Um, if you're looking, if you're using these templates and you've got some formats that you've found have made these even better, uh, please contribute those. Those are really helpful to everybody. Uh, and that's all I got. Excellent. Thank you, Chris. Remember to uh, reboot your machine. Uh, I, we can see that reminder on the on the lower uh, area. No, I can't really cool demo. Sorry. That's really funny. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you, Chris. So really cool, uh, really cool stuff, and 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 shows what you can do without code. Now, it is debatable: is JSON code or not? If you're a developer, it's not code. If you're not a developer, uh, maybe it is code. But uh, it's it's really cool to see what's possible natively within uh, within the list. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm.